always been the, the key driver of the success and as I think I said, the yeah, air is the key that unlocked the potential that we have in Queensland. We've got a wonderful depth, um, you know, uh, we've got a, a lot of players to pick from so you've got to assemble the right group and then you've got to be able to steer them in the right direction. And at the time we were sort of lacking that direction. A lot of wonderful talented players in the group but uh, inconsistent on the field so Ewan's uh, methods, his uh, experience that he brought to the group was able to unlock you know, uh, and give those players direction and lead those players to being able to play near their potential and that's what a coach's job is. Oh, there's dozens. Um, you know, we did so many things, what I call first, you know, we got the team focused on doing things that they hadn't done before and um, in the end we created a bit of history against pretty much every team in the competition in, in different ways. So. Um, all those things are memorable because that tells you that you, you know you, you, not only can you win a competition on a night, but you can be consistent against all the teams. You know, so there's no team out there that we didn't leave uh, some mark on, and, and that that impression is, ends up being respect. You know, you're going to generate respect from your opponents, and uh, I think the Reds have done that over a period of time. You've got to be respected as a as a team in the in the marketplace, and I think we are, and we're respected as an organisation as well. Well, you and it sort of indicated uh, at, at certain times throughout the last four years he may not want to have been a, a full-time career coach. He may have wanted to move off the paddock and he had ambition. And when he did commit to being a, an on-field coach again, he really wanted to take the next step up. So that noise was around and uh, he was successful and the, the national coach wasn't as successful. So there's always a threat of having him pulled from under us and that we didn't want anything to sort of uh, stop the momentum that we'd had or, or, or the ability to, to keep going. When I started I was very mindful of having a not so much a dynasty but just a, a, a permanent fix so that we could always be uh, playing a decent standard of rugby and always doing the you know, ticking the boxes. So um, it was very important for us to, to over a, that period to sort of highlight who the next person was and we went for a a person who's, who's less experienced as a coach, but he's certainly similar in his qualities as a man, and that's probably why we've highlighted Richard. Uh, he comes into a much different squad. You know, we've got two Australian captains, uh, a lot of Wallabies, a lot different squad to what Ewan inherited in 2009. So I'm very confident that uh, his experience and his skills will blend very well with the team. Well, every year's different, so um, we've got change. It's inevitable. Um, but he's had plenty of time to work with him, uh, and. Again, by me making an early decision in February has allowed him to have a lot of uh, imprimatur on the squad for 14 in terms of recruitment in particular. So that's the key thing the coach will do is have that in, they have that uh, that uh, the capacity to bring players in that you want to use. So he's been able to do that. So not able to support him in that, in that process. And at the same time, we've obviously kept our, our base game going, and um, which is you know the game that, that fans have turned up to Suncorp to watch, and it's been very successful there. And we, that's always work in progress about where the game needs to go and then the trends in the game change. But uh, he's got a very good understanding about how, how that functions. So those two things together, influence, input into the squad and then the ability to understand how the game's been played and obviously knowing everyone in the organisation gives you a very good leg up to, uh, to starting uh, 2014. Oh, there's no question about that. I mean, everything you do is, uh, needs to be in <laughs> preparation for the next thing you do. But um, I think the challenge of uh, the Reds the challenge of the of rugby in Queensland was was the interesting bit. It's not just the Reds; it's actually how, how we rebuilt the business of rugby and uh, and created created the interest in the game again, and and how we turned that success on, on the field into off the field, and uh, the, the, those two things working uh, side by side or hand in hand. That's the most important part. That's the bit that's been the most pleasurable. The business side of the sport uh, as well, the developing both and getting success on on both fronts has been the real journey, and that's something that uh, you know if we can. <laughs> I'm sure the next level uh, could could do do with it with that too. So um, I feel I feel like I'm well tuned. Well, I think the, the, you can see an attitude shift already, and uh, the, the last uh, uh, period has been unsuccessful for for the wrong reasons. I think you know, the talent's there, and we haven't been, I think, uh, choosing the right talent or, or playing with the right style. So. Those things are pretty easy. Pick the right talent and, and play uh, to their strengths. So that's Ewan's forte. He will he will do that. And I think you know, very fixable things going on. The last two tests, you know, silly mistakes. You take them out of the game, it's pretty even rugby. So I'm looking forward to the the emergence of the Wallabies as a real world force again.